Jazeera, there was one cryptic message. I didn't want to get into details over the radio. One of the men from town just died from the water poisoning. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Yes, we all were. He was military. And he asked us to give away all of his possessions. The last thing we have left is this card. I don't know what its purpose is. That's yeah, a military key card. I mean, if it's properly authorized, it could open any military electronic lock. Well then, here. You take it. Maybe it'll help you. Besides, we wouldn't even know what to look for. Yeah, thanks, Jazeer. We all saw it. The mother accepted you into the following. So we should accept you into our community, too. You are welcome now among the children of the sun. Thank you, Jazeer. Jazeer, what's up? Son, I know you have a lot on your mind, but I need to ask you a personal favor. That's your thing. What do you need? I hate to ask, but I won't stand the chance out there. It's about my daughter. I think she's run away from home. Eski, she ran away? Why? Good question. I've never been able to guess what's going on in that crazy head of hers. Okay, well, do you have any idea where she might have gone? The only place I can think of would be Ozan's house. They were close. Ah, uh, boyfriend, huh? That's what you guys were fighting about when I first got here? That little prick. He never worked a day in his life. No respect for his elders. Always with an idiot smile and that damn cap worn backwards. Relax, I'll look for her, don't worry. Where does this Ozan live? He lives on a farm that's pretty close to Oasis. And thank you. I'm sorry for asking this, just if you find her, tell her to come home, please. Mr. Crane, isn't it? You're really something, you know that. Never seen a man earn the trust of the children as fast as you did. They've kept an understandably low profile ever since the government banned all illegal religious sects in our country. Banned? Why? There was a massacre 50 years ago. It was chaos after that. We had to act fast, and we had no idea what should be done. It was in politics back then, but not corrupt, not corrupt. I voted against the madness, but nobody listened. They laughed at me, blamed the children, but I knew they were wrong. My mother grew up here and never had a bad word to say about the children. After I lost everything, I came to this place and helped them start a preservation society of sorts. They kept their rituals a secret, didn't accept anyone from the outside. And for a long time I felt betrayed, Mr. Crane. I helped them survive, and they shut their doors to me. How could they? They didn't accept you into the, uh, the group? No. I'm sure you can imagine how betrayed I felt. But now, now that the government has failed to protect its people, the children have reappeared stronger than ever before. And after all those years, they didn't forget about me, Mr. Crane. I'm well fed, clothed, and safe. They provide me with everything I might need. I wish I could say all's well that ends well, I just hope we all live long enough to see the end of this madness. Crane, we believe a plane may have crash landed somewhere near here. Yeah, I watched it go down. It's worth checking for survivors. It could be someone from outside the quarantine.
love. For the love of our mother and the God of the Son. I'm going to die up here. Help me. I'm in my hunting stand. Jazeera, you there? The infected got into Ozan's place. He's dead. Is Eski there? Is she all right? No, there's no sign of her. There's another girl here, though, who didn't make it. I'll, I'll keep looking. Don't worry, Jazeera. Her father always worries. Good luck. There you are. And am I glad to see both of you alive. What are you doing here? How did you get through that hell? Well, I could ask you the same thing. What were you guys thinking? There were only a couple of biters wandering around when we got here. Yeah, but then some bandits showed up and started shooting. Next thing we knew, the place was flooded with undead. All right, yeah, well, it's time to head back. Your dad's worried sick about you. Huh? We're not going back. Forget it, Kyle. This isn't a decision my father gets to make. Eski, Jesus, I, I knew you were strong-willed, but I didn't think you were crazy. We're going to Haran, Dara and me. We want our own lives. But listen to me, Haran is just as big a death trap as this place. I'm not going to live the rest of my life chained to my father's leg like a fucking dog. No, you can't- Kyle, please. I told you, I'd ask you for a favor someday. This is the day. I need you to help us. We know that it's dangerous in Haran, but this place is killing us. You just got here. Imagine living here. Imagine living among those people. How sick of it you'd get. There's a tunnel not far from here, a path into the city. That's where we're going. All right, all right, but I need to check that tunnel first. Now promise me you won't set foot out of this trailer till I tell you it's safe. We promise, Kyle. Thank you. Thank you so much.
Kaminsky, it's Crane. You know that path into the city you were gonna use? It was filled with volatiles. Holy shit. Uh, so are they gone now? Yeah, I cleared them out. It should be safe for you. Wow. Thank you. We're packed and ready to go. Good. Contact me once you're safe in the tunnel, okay? I won't tell your old man anything for a while in case you've changed your mind. We're not changing our minds. this car.
Must have been what they carried off. What the hell happened here? Hey, you there? No strange phenomenon doesn't even come close. What do you mean, brother? I mean, there was this huge-ass demolisher just standing there in the field, didn't even notice me. And this weird mist, too, like what you guys had at the ceremony. Oh, well, that's an interesting development. Brother, I can't really tell you right now, but meet me at Jassir's farm soon. I believe you are ready. It's good to see you again, brother. This time, though, I fear I carry some bad news for you. Yeah, well, I'm used to that by now. What's going on here? Kyle, you already knew, didn't you? People not getting infected, that it's just smoke and mirrors. It is the smoke, literally. Our mother found a way to fight the sickness using a certain, let's call it an elixir. You have seen it working with your own eyes. So you do have a cure? Would you call a bandage on an open wound a cure? No. What we have right now is just a temporary solution. We are working on a certain curative project, one with more permanence. But we need time, and we need peace to last for just a bit longer. Now let me guess, you're running out of this elixir. Unfortunately, yes. That's why I asked you to come here. I want to offer you a deal. Find us more of it, and a fair portion will be yours. The mother will teach you how to use it. You'll be able to return to Haran with your prize, or perhaps you'll choose to stay with us. It seems like you've got an idea of where to look for this stuff. A lot of our brothers were out searching for it, and recently we lost contact with three of them. They were supposed to check a certain cave. You're seeing the mist cannot be a coincidence. It must have been spillage. Seems that someone found the elixir and ran away with it. All right, so check out the cave. Got it. Farewell, brother. I hope the news you bring back is good. one of them. Okay, second one's dead too, no surprise there. Holy fuck, 
Rice's men? are undamaged. All right, then where are they? Are you there? I'm at the cave you mentioned, and I found two of your brothers dead. I also heard a distress call. It mentioned some goods that aren't here. So they were stolen. All right. Please keep investigating. We'll try to gather some information about the third brother. Listen, be on the lookout for orange uniforms, or, or a symbol, three horizontal stripes. The bandits in here, these are Rise's thugs. They're worse than the undead. What happened in Haran? That's mostly their fault. Oh, I see. Thank you, Kyle. I'm sure that information will prove useful. front of me. But aren't you people immune? She wasn't a part of this fucking cult. Nobody here accepted her. Ever. Yeah, but when did she get bitten? Didn't you know about it? it? Must have been on the way to the campground. I, I would have known if it had happened before that. Look, if it helps any, there was nothing you could have done. <sighs> no, Kyle. That doesn't help. Just get your things. I'll take you home. Home? Are you crazy? I can't go back now. It would make everything pointless. Eski, come on. Kyle, listen to me. If I go back, I'm trapped. I can't accept that. I won't. Jesus. All right, well, listen. Go. Be careful. Okay, this tunnel should lead to Old Town. I'll ask my friend Troy to look out for you. Good luck, Eski. Thank you. Thank you, Kyle. Here, I found some of Eski's things near a tunnel. Looks like a smuggling route. I'm pretty sure it leads all the way to Haran. She's going to Haran? Well, she... Could she be safe in the city? You've been there, tell me. I won't lie, Jazir. It's a dangerous place, but... I'll reach out to my friends there. They'll help her. I... I... Thank you, Kyle. 